and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. No one back home will ever believe this. Yes, I want to check something. Apparently there's some... Wait, what was that? Filmin's hiding spot. What do you mean by that? Okay, I'm glad you didn't mean this. Okay, let's check our journal. It will be easier that way. Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to check this. How come with some we have... Okay, it's active. That's all. Um, we learned that Green Forge leads to an ancient temple. Perhaps the truth of what happened to the Dark Just shares can be discovered there. Okay. Search the cellar. Because the comments were destined for the most comments were treated. Okay. Find the night song. The trade goes cool in Underdark. Where is the night song? A. We are still on that. The Dwegger mentioned the Adamantine Forge was nearby. So we are on that. Return to my comet's rain. Free the artist. Oscar Okay. So there's that. Thank you, thank you, Crash. Okay, so that's all there is. I don't know. What's that? What is that about? Ooh. What well, daggers I have so I can give this to someone else? What's hiding here? Featherfall to me, misty step to you. Oh, my book. The bindings of this book is thicker than its combined pages, which are surprisingly devoid of detail. We know little of the ones that came before, but we know they worshipped the Lady of Lost. We know they constructed the Great Fortress and named the next few wars are smeared and illegible. But from whence they came, and why they departed, this is a mystery, even to Kateric Torm himself. What we do know is that Shars Chosen has heard her call. Just as Grimford served our mistress 800 years nigh, so it would again. Here Torm's dark justiciars shall rise. Here we will fulfill our goddess's pact. Here we will rebuild this lost city of Grimford. So far we are, will our shadow spread, and so dark will they be, that Saloon's light may be forever extinguished. Okay, but I don't see anything else. Chair. That one. <laughs> That won't let me rest until we find out what the... What is that? What's that about? <laughs> Maybe some light? It's needed there, I'm not quite sure. Mm, who is carrying the torch? Okay, let's check it with, yes, and let's check it with a torch, because I'm way too used to having dark vision. Maybe there's something about this. Come on, let's go. Can you hit it? No. Okay, never mind then. No one stopped let's me go. yet. And please hide your torch. Tread lightly. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Yeah. Oh. These boots have seen everything. Yeah. We don't need to open these. We can just go around. Ooh.
they check out this plague? Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Um. Let's take Shadowheart for a moment. Astalia, Kalak. I need a quick word. Yeah. Speak. Please stay here. You believe yeah. what you say. Shadowheart, Shadowheart. Is she alive? Yeah, she is alive. So that's what people all right. Okay, let's leave the camp and let's see if she will have some insight on that. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Get on with it. Come on. Got to press on. I keep mistaking those goddesses. Which one is of the light? Which one is of the darkness? Anyway, we don't have the light spell, so let's move. Let's go. <laughs> let's just go. Come on, guys. Come on. Always room for more. Hmm. Don't step into the seat. Congratulations. Light colors pray for you. Um, is there anything? Else around here? I don't think so. Curse to put my hands on everything. Please don't close the door. Just go through. Mm. Okay, so this is these doors. Let's go over here. There's so many places to visit here. See some. I'm way too big. So, as I understand, this is just another way through. Last archway. If archway. Uh, open up. Oh. Why? It's. Mm. Yeah, just a way through. Smoke powder satchel. Oh, those will be useful once I start using them. I'm way too big. Come on, I want you to go through here and through the iron gate. Hmm? Oh, it's speaking of the dead. You're going up there. 
You've either got iron guts or one of those moon lanterns. A moon lantern? What's that? One of Nier's magic lamps. You won't last without one. The death darks clogged the top land. Clear to Moonrise Towers. Only a moon lantern dispels it. Death dark? What are you talking about? Shadows. Thick as a Dwero's skull. Sucks the breath right out of your lungs. Go on up if you fancy. Me? I'd sooner take a swim in the dark lake. And where is he? He's just gone. Okay, let's go back. To the migrant colony. We have the head. Hi. Um what's up for discussion? Anyways, haven't found it oh we haven't found the gnomes. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? I've killed that way guard for haunting you. I'm almost sorry to hear it. I hope to have the pleasure myself. There's plenty more guarding my people, but I'd say you've made a fine start. Okay, there's definitely something to do. With we still need to find those gnomes, apparently. Please. <laughs> Uh, I've brought you Nair's head. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life. And thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Thank you. I receive... For some reason, the game won't no longer show me descriptions. Why? Voice... Oh, so Sorry. Voice of the Circle. Mm, what that does? Grant an ally plus two bonus on persuasion checks. <laughs> oh, my persuasion is perfect. This music is beautiful. It's so fitting. Uh, I was supposed to bring them some mushrooms, I don't remember which. I have never seen anything like it. It's my Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Mm. Were you here where when the Dwerg are attacked? I observed a fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Myconids handled themselves well enough. Research in the, un in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. There is rare magic in the Underdark too. Fair's rest. It radiates from the earth, warping teleportation and divination magic. What have your studies uncovered? 
This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I've never seen a hobgoblin like you before. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Do you have anything interesting to trade? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. The Lifebringer, I wonder where against lightning charges. I still don't feel like we are ever gonna use that. Magic missile. Mm, I'm fully sure I sold you all my crap. Yep. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Mm, you've certainly got a lot more individual ambition than you can. Why is that? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the Elder Brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. So, are the tales of slavery, brain-lasting my players, exaggerated? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains, he required souls, a perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? Okay, but tell me please again, what do you need for the potion? A tongue of madness and the spores from a timusk mushroom. You may find them in nature or the nearby cleric's tower. Be cautious. Those that have taken root are quite dangerous. Wait. <laughs> uh, tea mask and oh, and something of madness. Blah blah blah. How is of madness. And this is for our mind flyer. Nutrition my species receives from other minds is difficult to emulate. <laughs> So I suppose we don't have any of those. Look up. Hmm. Mm, I believe they were growing somewhere here. That's to the tea house. So let's go out of here. Some creeper, night light. Okay, as you guys wish. Why are you going over here for? Bone cap. What happened? Oh, Timus spores. Timus. 
grave mistake. And Miss Porson, no. Okay. Hopefully, one is enough. And something of madness. Swarming toads? What is that? Palar aloof. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. This feels holy, because of what the appropriate ritual might be. I'm not good with religion, can we swap? Mask. Can someone else get not recall anything this esoteric? There are too many rituals about swords to count. Okay, don't touch it. A shadow heart, maybe you slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. How is it? <laughs> yeah, it's enough. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with blood. Shed a few drops of blood onto the stone. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. Yes, I am trying to review that. Thank you very much. Long swords. Oh, oh, we don't have her here. Are you proficient with those? Plus four slashing, performance plus one. What's that? The sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst in the shrieks or bolstering songs. All right. What now? They were over there. Swift as my feet can carry me. Team mask again. The things I have don't I don't recall at all how they look like. Hmm. Huh. Maybe so the maybe they are somewhere lower. Anything of use? We'll see. <laughs> have some nest oil and cold piece. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Yeah. Let's see about the night light. Damn it. What? 
Yeah, we've been here already. Are they heard a sound? Okay, never mind. I just made a circle, didn't I? Yep, I did. Mm, maybe over here? Yeah, I'm on a quest for mushrooms. We were down here? Yeah, we were. So we found a not so dead <laughs> mushroom gatherer. Wonder if we can venture even further down here. I don't think so, but maybe. Oh, wait, there's a tombstone. I missed it earlier. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Don't judge me. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Strange collar. It's got wounds all over it. Definitely magic. Though I wonder what they mean. Hmm. I can wear the collar. No. Huh. Uh. Why not? And it says uh, something about the lake, so let's go. I mean, we are already close. I think this is the lake. Okay. I need to get down. All oh, right. It might be a little bit problematic to get down there. Or not. We threw a surprise party for iron food. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it calls it's cause for celebration either way. Where we, he saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, I swear he teared up. Not only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift, but Marina claimed she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. The barrel warden didn't say a word when the snore started. Layabout is lucky she's got a soft touch. I would best get some sleep. Orus just came in for practice shovels and pickaxes for the younglings, and I've yet to harvest the zork wood. Where does the time go? I honestly missed so much stuff here. Oh, 
All the damage letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore of the Ebon Lake as Dragor armor to be prowling in the area. Can I get here? With those two parts are the only places where we can access the lake. Albert did not hurt him. Okay, apparently not everyone came with us to the Underdark. There's still this part here that we need to discover. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I have one mushroom for you. Yes, she is cataloging coital and fertility rituals. But I need to know what the other one was. I greet you, child of the yes. sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Uh, what do you need? The tongue of madness. Tongue of madness. And the spores from a timusk mushroom. You may find them in nature. Or the nearby cleric's tower. Be cautious. Those that have taken root. Cleric's tower, you mean this arcane tower? Okay, let's go there now. Because I have the spores. Yeah. I had them. Timask spores. Yeah, I have those. So now let's just how the hell do we get up there? Um we need to go that way and then this way and then over here oh Sorry, guys. Oh, nothing but rocks. Oh, all is riddled with holes. A suffocating hmm. stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Inspect them. were created deliberately but whether by tools or claws you cannot say do we have anyone with the <laughs> where can I take those oh there they are with survival survivals in wisdom oh, as well you great you check them the big one the wall is riddled with holes a suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out i'll give you my inspiration oh. 
those holes are cursed. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Centipede-like aberrations that feast on the dead. At one time, these caverns must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. Do you still want to reach in one of those? The passage narrows and bends, becoming impassable before you're even elbow deep. Bone. Nice. No joy. Can't give up now. Yeah. At the ready. Okay, to the tower is to the right. And let's save right here. And if oh don't do that. Okay, I had to restart the game because it froze. Must be on my way. I'm sorry, I had to force it. I think I would... It's... Okay, I come over here, come over here, out of the... Um, we'll go separately, and please... Watch your back. Quick step. Seriously. Okay. Keep Why is he getting out of hiding? Ready or not, gently. What's up here? Another one of those. Can we? Don't go there. I was wondering if we can disable it somehow. Can you jump over here? No, 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 I swear, sometimes they're stupid when it comes to that, not enough space. Mm-hmm. So I would have to go... Just, you know, keep hiding. How did they take the motion? I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's save here. Invisible. What's wrong with this place? Really? Okay, give me a moment, I'll restart it again. Okay, we are back. I restarted the whole PC. <laughs> Just like old times. Let's look for something that can disable these turrets. Mm. Better. Let's see. Dearest ear, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'm only be gone, I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but burner to fill these holes, I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been just less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid pals, waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited. I went and handled Tarasag. I'll always wait for you. But 
You didn't come. I can pickpocket the turret, but I don't see any way. I don't think he can climb it. Too high, interrupted, interrupted, too far, interrupted. Let's try pickpocketing it. A very painful pocket. Seventeen hit points, armor class of ten. It's sturdy. Damage is not strong. Gonna hit that deals at least ten damage. Can can damage it. Okay, I think. Okay, but by the but I believe uh, let's keep you free together. What's hiding here? Breathe quiet. Move with care. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay, I just need Very well. need them to get over here. I'm wondering about this survival here. That's curious. Ah, let's see. Vampire touch, I'll give that to you. Let that will fit in my pack. Ingots will go to Carlock. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Come back here. This way. Please Let's open it. Open. Can I go up here? No. Uh, add guidance. Uh, it should be enough. What do we have here? Skybreaker. It's for you. Silver ingots. That's for you. Uh, do you by any chance have eyes? My target is lightning. So can you shoot it back with lightning? Wasn't enough. Okay. But what? Must have advantage. <sighs> there is a chance that he'll roll eleven damage. God damn it. Time for discretion. 
Are you? Ah, oh, come on, get over here, and you guys stay here. Really. Wits and blades always sharp. Have to keep low. Find it. Okay, all you. And just hit it, you. Making me sweat. Just attack. Ah, oh, I'm really trying to look for the attack. Okay, get over here. All of you, get over here. No. I've got a long road ahead. It's such stupid. It's so stupid that I cannot. God. Just get over here, all of you. God damn it! Stop going out. Oh. Thank you. They can be so stupid when it comes to moving around, really. Oh. Curse to put my hands on everything. No way to ignite these. Strange. Trust no one. A crooked tongue. If we won't be able to open the door, we'll just go through the window. That was enough. Okay, allow me to save. And you... We don't have any of There's another one, there's two. Can we get... Valley target, so no, don't talk to anyone. Um. Maybe we shouldn't be entering this tower just yet. Right now it seems... it looks like a suicide mission, to be honest. I think there should be a way to go... up the mushrooms? Hmm. I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> There's still something to do in the Grim Fort. Maybe we should go back there. Hmm. We discovered a lift in Grim Fort that can bring us closer to Moonrise Towers. However, we were warned of darkness that plagues the surface. We found some Timask spores, but we need to bring them. Yes. Must be oh, right, the Tongue of Madness. This is why I came here. Um, okay, get over here. From what I understand, we should be able to get on those? What's that? Okay, get over here. Get, um, yeah, over here. Too far. What now? Will that give you? Oh. Tread carefully. Okay. 
So there is a different way around this tower. Wait, can we? Good job, no? Good job. No. Okay, everyone will survive this. That might be worth a look. That thing is tiny, and I am not. Hmm, okay. Um mm -mm -mm. I don't wanna go to Will. Why? Don't, don't you there? My faith will guide me. All's well that ends. Don't you bad is it? God fucking damn it. This is why I hate them. They will get hurt multiple times because they are not listening. All I wanted to do was go to camp and check if Will has the... Not all of them want to camp. God damn it. I want to check if Will still has his cloud form. Stay here. Yes. Really. Will, 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 will. There he is. Why they can come back up when it's clearly too high for them to climb, but won't follow me down and risk? That's the <sighs> defender of the people. Use for me, yep. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I can open it from the inside. Two steps at a time. Okay, no, 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 never mind. That's not everyone. I'm way too Okay. What are you about the hole again? If not over, then through. Sister Bloom again. Where? Get over here. Hmm. No, oh, we cannot go over there, but... Hmm. Never mind. Look up. You. Pick this up. Okay, I'm glad that anti-magic field does not get rid of the gaseous form. Because then it would be so annoying. The Antimagic Properties of Sister Tree Flowers by L. D. Hurst For those knowing about sister trees, the magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly to those living in the world above, the ways its roots, bark and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I must have created items that have anti-magic properties, and that use the magical absorption of scissor tree flowers as a power source. Lines have been drawn on the following pages as if the author intended to fill them with writing. 
but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Nothing here, multiple yeah. rocks. And here is the elevator, I assume. Looks like some kind of magical contraption. Now to get it to work. Get it to work by not having so Okay. Oh, Jesse. Actually, I think this is quite a good idea to put it in here. Don't linger. It doesn't look broken. Then again, none of us do. Wait, it, was, it doesn't work now either. Moving in. Interesting. No way to ignite these. Strange. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what this does. Oh, this one probably requires the flower. Wish I had a bag of holding. And I'm oh, and I am so glad that the Anti-magic field does not get rid of my speaking of animals, detect thoughts, and so on. <laughs> I know, that's cheating, but... They put it there on purpose. They did it like this, on purpose. Like put that combine that eye is well so don't pay it attention oh they're disabled now <laughs> they were broken <laughs> Broken. Can you try breaking? My face protects me. You said face or faith? Can't reach. <laughs> huh? Onward, then. Interesting. What to do? Never wanted the easy path. And objects. I'm sorry. No, but it did not work on that. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, never mind then. Anyway, we can see it from here, right? Which means, in theory, Will should be able to fly down there. Keep in base. Mm. 
and he can interact with the world. Yee. All you need is gaseous form. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you, oh, don't, don't, don't you dare? Why are you going up there? One day I'll catch a break. Come on, go down. Before we go upstairs, we need to go down into the depths. How is that not obvious for you? To you? Let's save. We have tongues of madness. Great. El minister said Naloft was a wonder to behold when it floated, it floated in fair sky. He was surely right. This Netherese enclave was once a jewel in the empire of magic, with towers that pierced the heavens. And yet it fell, just like all Netherese enclaves did, crashing down when Karas's folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange, twisted beauty. I traveled there. Uh, I traveled here from Halru Halrua when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Nalof were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I found arcane books used to make campfires, the their magic lost now to the ages. I have met some Shadowvar here whose interest aligns with mine, and we have agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with fixed cult adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. Stop it. Please take the stuff. Arcane Blessing Mistress Blessing Bless grants an additional 1d4 to saving frost and weapons are like rolls. Oh, nice. No time to rest. That will be perfect for Will. I said Will. Gale. That will be perfect for Gale. Ooh, sparks from the work can be electrocuted. Don't mind if I do. Draw poison, lightning bolt, poison resistance, and another book. Wait, we heard that name. Crisp cursive fills the pages of the diary, detailing the daily struggles of a cleric of mistrust studying the magical properties of the Underdark, thus entry dates back about ten years. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts making sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra? Right at the apex of my studies. I have all the pieces, but I have barely started to my treaty. See, no matter. I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear book, here, together with the rest of my research, waiting to be finished. I'll be back before the next chess. At least things stay interesting. I need to give something. Yeah, I guess I can give you my books. I need to path lies before me. clean up my oh. Maybe I need more pockets. my backpack, really. Swiss oil, okay. Mm, more books.
I don't think there's anything down there. Okay, let's uh, ascend. Where will it take me? Okay, we are up here. Ascend. Okay, just the process. They are... Oh! It is not the flow we started at. Better not be cursed. Or is it? Water. More sports, and I'm just opening all the doors. <laughs> because why not? This all sends straight to the camp. Do we don't we have any food that we can? Not on me, apparently. Okay, and we can either ascend or we can descend, that makes sense. Now this is the level that I s we started at. Oh, she's still encumbered. Give away all the books. So we have more... More room for new books. The beginning of this book proudly declares it to be a play by Dame Inia, followed by extensive introduction and 23 pages of notes on the text. Though the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza is encircled twice. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can thrive. Like the owner was quite the literary. Hmm. And I'm gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, 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 oh traveler's chest, of course. Oh, broken machinery. Sure, trap this arm for you. I am still carrying this box with me, so I'm gonna save. I'm s I'm still thinking if I should just... Yeah. No, I, w I won't cheat. Oh, I didn't have to. Finally! Gold. That wasn't worth it. The first few inches of the scroll are written in formal, elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from the those who harp. We know here that the one known as Keteric Torm, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited, the murder, slavery and desecration of temple temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United we may end Torm's reign of terror. The High Harps eagerly await you, good ward. Okay, so maybe it will Still be breathing. the best if, um, if we deliver that? Inside. Oh, sure. Okay, where's that way outside here? Another step forward. Where are we? Okay. Oh, we are just back outside. I was fairly sure we can go higher than that. Yeah. So this is like the floor zero at which we started. Oh, 
Okay, I don't know. I just see that there is someone there. Animated armor and stuff like that. Ooh, Justy. I mean, I can hear someone walking. So the animated armor really is still animated. To the grey. Engraved Githyanki disc? Such a strange disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazelle might know. Hmm. This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of seven stratos throughout the realm. Chapter 4. Palidor the Swift. Mm, it took me several ten days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palidor felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed, demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquire. This tale relied relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stalked. A small fire between us was like none I had heard before or since. I asked if it were fiction and he insisted emphatically it was as true as his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill described, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief, an empire of brain eaters, soul wasters, they called themselves Ifilids, the flares of minds. The children of, G of Gif were bowed, bent in service to the flares, a passionate people made to serve a cold belief. The flares were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor. No proud will or passion could break Gif's children free. Until at last a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events history making, the cowed would not be cracked. Gif's children fought back valiantly, their freedom the, their freedom theirs, the flares bent and broken till today. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. It's huge. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Hmm. Seek a pattern. Ah, it will be enough. No. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. Okay. You take the disc to Lazel. She might know more about it. S okay, I agree. And uh, there was another letter I wanted to check. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in the hell would you tame a bullet? Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a garden is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs. I'm Arith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn... Autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Button? Mage's friend. Ooh, that's so nice. And a button. Wait. Why did that strange dog collar just vibrate? Clever. Food is dispensed for anyone wearing this collar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Turn out. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the paper? Useful. The writing on the torn out strip of paper is shaky and blotted with tears, making me barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can can I hold can I hold your hands just for a while? 
an engraved disc of Gifkanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gift dialects, a useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. Circular symbols are etched on the disc. Um, use the cipher. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc, and from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part One. So it was that we were free from gank shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Flacketh seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew Vlacketh's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. And now definitely I want to speak to her about this. Because apparently the mother she's been speaking so highly of... A quick word. ...is not rightful to the throne. Speak. Ask her about the disc. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too, and considers the vision. Tissue markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense... No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's. But it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. You so you said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Hmm. You bear it just fine. Tell me what it says. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet, Part One. So it was that we were free from Geich shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the Mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Disregard this... this drivel! Gith declared Vlakith Queen of the Empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Hmm. And if it's true, it sounds like Vlakith betrayed Gif and seized the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. <laughs> Okay. Mm, I believe that is all over here. Plus another painting from Divinity. And ascent one more time.
You sound so dampened like a pressure break. Is it the foam? The foam can capture his heel. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> there is a light in every living thing. It's crawled towards the surface. Survive. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for a while? In case we die, yes, please. Come here. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug. As if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Okay, Bernard, okay. Light on my feet. The paper is torn uh, and patched in many places, as if it was well used but treasured. On it is a small poem without a name. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. And these empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 